In this video, I will show you how to sell some pieces of text called prompts. I will share with you three strategies to sell them, how to promote important tips to stand out in the competition and get your first customers. A lot of value without any ads in a couple of minutes. Keep watching. So what is a prompt? It's simply the input text you feed to a language model, you give to a language model like ChatGPT or maybe an AI image generator like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. And this input, this prompt will highly affect and influence the output. In simple words, if this prompt, this simple text was optimized, you will get good results. If this prompt was not optimized, was bad, you will get bad results. It's that simple. Okay, so now how to sell prompts? Let's now say you crafted your optimized prompt and you want to sell it. How? We mainly have three strategies. Number one is to sell on prompt marketplaces. For example, one of the best marketplaces out there is prompt base. I myself, I bought like 50 prompts from this website. Not all are good by the way, but since I do some research about prompt engineering, I try to optimize in different niches and do a lot of stuff. I need a lot of ideas. I need a lot of prompts to test with. So I buy from here and there and do my research. Anyway, the idea is this marketplace allows you to buy and sell prompts directly on the website. Another popular website is Snack Prompt. This website like more a community where people post prompts and they share their feedback and they allow you to buy and sell prompts there. So the idea is simple. You just grab your prompt and you publish on these websites. We'll talk about promoting later on. But for now, these are marketplaces. They already have traffic. You can post and sell your prompts there. The second strategy, which is somehow more advanced, is to put multiple prompts into a package and sell it like a product. And this is what I do. If you go down to my website, the premium prompts library, I sell it as a package, a package of prompts. I sell it with my prompt engineering course. And if you go now to product hunt and search for prompts or chat GPT prompts, you will find a lot of people doing the same. Now, how to stand in the competition, how to sell your package. I will tell you now in a little bit, some tips in the marketing section. Just bear with me two minutes. The third strategy is similar to number two, selling a package of prompts, but now we will sell it as a monthly recurring membership or annual membership. If you are following me here on my channel, like one month ago, I published a video on how to create a website based on data and sell it as a membership. This one is the best strategy since you are going to establish a stable income stream. But here you need to focus on providing really valuable prompts, optimized prompts, not any prompt. So users will feel it every month you are updating your library with something really helpful. Focus on value. Again, if you go back to my prompts library, I don't have many prompts, maybe like 20 prompts only, but I work hard to publish only optimized and tested prompts. So users will feel they are getting real value out of these prompts, real results, saving a lot of time. You are solving a problem. So when they pay a monthly fee or for a one package fee, like in my case, they will feel they got a lot of value. Now we still have two things I wanna share with you. Tips to promote and get your first customers and an important idea if you wanna stand out and scale this business. Let's start with tips to promote. Number one, like any digital product, whenever you finish and publish it, you can go to Product Hunt and publish this product and launch this product. For example, when I create Promoter Kit, I published on Pro on Product Hunt. When I finished creating Free II Kit, I published on Product Hunt. When I finished my course, I published it on Product Hunt and so on. This will help you get some traction, help get user feedback, reviews from people, and give a little push to your product launch. Number two is to publish to AI aggregators. Like two weeks ago, I published a video on how a new website, which is my free AI image generator tool, went from zero to 200,000 visitors in two months only or three months only with the help of AI aggregators. Today, AI is trending and we have a lot of 
aggregators' websites where they collect and share AI tools and products. If you share your tools and products there, you get some traction and some traffic from these websites. And some of them maybe allow you to create a featured post where you pay to get featured on top of these big websites. Number three, which in my opinion is the best strategy to sell a digital product online, which is building an email list. You create a lead magnet. For example, you create a package of prompts. You can pick like five prompts of this package and package it in a PDF or a Notion template and give it for free as a lead magnet to collect emails. You build your email list and then you have a treasure that you can promote your premium products to. Number four is to create content around your product. The idea is simple here. Look, a lot of people ask me how we can succeed online, how to build a real business online. It's very simple. The formula is very simple. It just requires you to work consistently for like six, seven, eight months or maybe one year. It's simply picking like two platforms, for example, Twitter and Medium, and create content around the product you are selling. Build authority, build audience, build email lists, and then it will be a lot easier to sell anything with your content. These four tips will help you get started, will help you get your first customers, but it's not only the way to promote prompts or any digital product. Remember, you are a prompt engineer selling prompts. You can ask ChatGPT or Googlebot anytime for a full marketing strategy. For example, this prompt, you can see how long it is. Just feed it to ChatGPT and you will get like a full marketing strategy. By the way, you'll get all the prompts, everything we mentioned today all the details and more details in the full guide in the description below. You can check it if you want. Now, the last tip for today, I think it's the best thing you can do to stand out in the competition and sell more valuable product in terms of prompts is what we call selling an automated script workflow. So instead of selling the prompt alone, you will package this prompt, you will put it inside a script, like a Python script that will automate a task for the customer. For example, let's say your customer wants to do some research. For example, you can create a prompt that summarizes articles and you combine with Google search. As we learned before in the ChatGPT Max edition, we go to Google, we get the top 10 results, we summarize them and the language model ChatGPT will give you like a research in like two, three seconds. So you can sell the whole script, this automated script to the customer. In this way, you are giving more value, something that saves a lot of time for them. They don't need to test the prompts by themselves. They just get the script, run it, and they get result. This is way powerful than selling a prompt alone. And this is exactly what I teach in my prompt engineering course, how to build automated workflows. You can check my course in the description below. And if you want to start for free, you can check my videos here on my channel. Start with this one. No ads, no sign ups. Just go watch, learn and start implementing and start selling prompts. Not today, tomorrow. See you later.